Hello there, this is the Business Day CEO for, and I'm here standing with Ms. Stella Okotete. She is the Executive Director of the Nigerian Export Import Bank, and she's here with us today to you know, answer questions bothering around the theme of today's event, which is leadership in top times. So I'm going to ask you, ma'am, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So what is leadership in tough times? What does it mean for you? And how do you say that leaders can navigate the tough times that we're experiencing now, especially in Nigeria with the economic situation? How would you say that leaders... Um, I want to start by informing you and others that it's a global issue, it's a global issue, it doesn't really start with Nigeria or any so other kind of There's actually a global economy depression currently happening across nations. And the worst kids are developing nations, Nigeria happens to be one. Um, I think why we are feeling it this hard is because Nigeria over the years has been solely dependent on oil. And oil revenues today, you know, are dipping. Why our production also are not growing? And so um, the, the country is left with, you know, more of imports. And once that is done, it actually hits on your, your supply um, of your efforts, which currently, you know, as an import dependent nation, we need to deal and we try to create some leveling playing ground for our uh, exchange rates. Leadership during difficult times like this requires innovation. Requires you also to have to mitigate all of the risks that comes across, you know, your economic space, your business space, or our trade. For us at the Nigerian Export and Import Bank, we've been able to come up with the same uh, products that would help us navigate and support exporters to do well within um, this eco space. And I can tell you that Nigerian exporters, as harsh as the economy may seem, are smiling too and smiling from the back. Um, in the last couple of weeks and months, we've also seen that cocoa prices which is one of the commodities that we, you know, we do well with in Nigeria in terms of export, has grown from 1.5 million naira per metric ton to about 16 million naira per metric ton. And that also is also being captured in the exchange rates also. Um, Cocoa right now on the London Stock Exchange um, is going for about over, over 10,000, 12, 13,000 um, pounds. And so when you do the conversion, you find out that if Nigeria was ready before now, we would be singing a different song. You know, so innovation is very important. Derixing the system, coming up with tricks, mitigants to help navigate your economy, your business, you know, out of it. Because I'm saying economy, because countries have to think it, because that's how the SMEs and MSMEs can cope. Once countries have derixing structures in place and not palliating, we'll be able to get our country to the right steps. And businesses, CEOs, will be able to. Go think or tell the line of also directing their own, their own spaces well with you know mitigants that would help um, support the businesses support the growth and also encourage the workforce because in tough times like these, the most kids are your staffs, and so they need to be encouraged, they need to be supported, they need to have a, a, a workspace that encourages their productivity, a workspace that is willing to take risks, and also um, supports you when you new products or innovations fail, and um, encourage you through the route, because with tough times like this, you, you just have to try all innovations. You just have to try a whole lot of things. I think that's what it is. I believe that this forum is apt at the right time when CEO needs to understand that um, we need to collaborate because with collaboration we can also navigate the storms. And I believe um, networking is very important because with the network you'll be able to know what others do and, and instead of importing some of the services the that your products you need to import, you can actually take advantage of the locally um, available resources or products, you know, to meet your manufacturing needs or your business needs. So speaking of supporting businesses, I mean, you are the executive director of Nigerian Export Import. Now. What is being done to, you know, 
called the high cost of importation that businesses are facing now. I've heard people who own different businesses complain about how much it is to you know, get their products into the country. So what, what is being done around this? Okay, so that's where I previously spoke about collaboration. What we do as the ECA, the Export Credit Agency of Nigerian government, is to see that we produce more Nigerian goods and get them out of the country. But with the top um, ecosystem that we're currently in, we are actually supporting industries within the country to build capacity, so we do not need to import some of the things that we have. I'll tell you that it's actually shocking to know that most of these raw materials that we imported in were exported, values were added and imported in. And so we're saying, no, we let's process here, let's add the values here, and um, local businesses can actually tap from what we have instead of importing. And so we're looking at a lot of import substitution, which will definitely reduce the pressure. Because why the volatility in the FS market is because of supply and demand. And so if we have businesses in here produce what is needed, will definitely reduce the imports and actually grow our exports because we can actually take care of the entire African market. We have the numbers, we have the opportunities, we have the raw materials, we have the people. And so that's what we're working on. So those are some of the innovative ideas and products that we currently have on our books. And so we're also working with other ECs to Today, see that we have we better payment terms for um, those important. But you would ask me, and a lot of people have asked me, when the payment terms work in line with the utility of the dollars, it's better I just pay now that I know the dollar is one five than to now pay two years' time when it is three thousand. You know, because that will definitely affect their books. And so what we're Once doing right now is to see how we can work closely with the central bank to edge, you know, some of these FX differentials that might be more poor in the future. But yes, we're working to see that um, better payment terms are there. Um, cost optimization is also very important for business CEOs. Uh, because you need to um, reduce your overhead to be able to break even and make profit and continue a sustainable business in a hard time. So that's what we're currently doing. And um, I want to tell your friends who are currently importing, you know, um, this is time where change is constant. So they should look at what is actually available. 250 million Nigerians must eat. And so instead of importing whatever you need to import, let's look at agriculture. Because those 250 million people must eat. And you can grow anything in this country, you can process anything in this country. Um, instead of sardine, we could actually have, you know, better fish flakes that people eat. Um, instead of a whole lot of things with biscuits, foreign biscuits. I'll tell you what happened to me yesterday. I was coming on a local airline and I noticed they gave me Oreo biscuits. I took a picture of it because I'm going to make a post about it. Why do I have to eat Oreo at the stop time? Brought from Pakistan or somewhere. We have local industries, we have local products that can actually make you cookies and all of that. And so we should encourage ourselves. We should also look inwardly and buy Nigerian if you can and you should be able to eat Nigerian because it's safe. You're sure of what you're eating, you're sure of the content. You know, you're, you're sure it's not lab-produced beef or lab-produced fish or, or products. So I think we should look inwardly, we should encourage the retail businesses of our small businesses because most of the small businesses are retailers. And so if we can encourage them, we we'll definitely have, you know, Push an effect on our cash flows as individuals. Because whenever they have to import those things, my dear lady, it has to be on the prevailing exchange rate. And who bears the bonds? The consumers. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And thanks for sharing that. I'm going to ask you the last question. Okay. And that will be just around the theme of this event, which is leadership in Tata. Finally, as a leader, what's one thing that you think many leaders will need to cultivate, to learn, especially leaders in Nigeria, that they don't currently have. And what do you see programs like this addressing? Okay, I think what leaders need to, to do right now in tough time 
is to, to support their staffs. Um, I think your workforce is what makes your business successful. If you have a successful workforce, you have um, a, a happy workforce, you have a motivated workforce, the outputs will definitely be positive. And so leaders must learn to understand that the bottom line at this tough time must be giving some level of um, incentives, you know, ensure that salaries, if possible, are reviewed. You could work with some of the fast-moving consumer goods companies to see that daily um, goods that are required, home goods that are required, can be gotten at subsidized rate or taken off salaries over a period of time. You know, so it doesn't really hit you know, their salary um, immediately. So with that, I'm sure we'll be able to have more productive hands within our workspace and it would actually address the Jaqua syndrome, which is currently um, eating up you know, the best of hands that we have in the country. This particular program is, like I said earlier, is apt, is at the right time. I'm sure we'll be able to hear from other speakers new ideas that would help us you know, navigate the season. And like I said, opportunities to collaborate and networking and, um, you know, iron sharpness iron. From one or two innovations that will be shared, you'll be able to create new innovations for your own space that best suits your working environment. So I think that's why we're here and we'll definitely take back a lot from this program. Absolutely. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. I just finished speaking with Estella Okotete. She's the executive director of the Nigerian Export Import Bank. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. And um, I look forward to the next session. I'm sure at that time we won't be talking about hard times. Hopefully. We'll be talking about the blooms and the glory of the new economy system. Thank you. God bless.